Dr. Eva Galvez is getting a lot of questions from patients. If the vaccine is safe, they're asking me about the long-term risks. She works at Virginia Garcia, which is waiting for the vaccine. It's a clinic that largely helps frontline and migrant workers in Washington County. They have been the backbone of the food and agriculture industry. So without many of our community members, people would not have food on their tables. Veronica Leonard with Latino Network in Multnomah County says since the beginning of the pandemic, Latinx people have been disproportionately impacted, making up only 13 percent of Oregon's population, but ranging from 30 to 40 percent of positive cases. Getting the vaccine to our community members, we will then help ensure that the broader community stays safe. What are some of the barriers to entry, would you say, when it comes to a vaccine? Um, many of our patients are undocumented, so oftentimes they're not able to access healthcare services. Fear of personal information being shared is another issue and misinformation about the vaccine. We don't really have a lot of accurate information that it's in a language and at a literacy level that our community can understand. We know that there's a lot of work ahead in order to ensure that our community actually gets the vaccine. Health departments and other groups around the state have worked for months on Spanish outreach, pushing for a seat at the table when it comes to vaccine distribution. Latino Network has provided free clinic testing to Latinx people on weekends. It has also requested getting priority for the vaccine at these testing clinics. For now, though, the difficult wait and hard work for those like Dr. Galvez continue. Why is it so important to you? My parents are immigrants. The work that I do is caring for the community that shaped me through health and through education that we could definitely improve our quality of life. I'm Galen Etlin for KGW News.